Welcome back to another installment of Era of Celestials. We're going to go ahead and continue on with the series and hop into the Forge tab. Uh, here on the left, you'll see all of your equipment here that you can forge, manipulate, and we'll get into each little item. Uh, if you want to hit preview, you can see what kind of each set looks like, uh, maybe in anticipation of what you want to wear next. Personally, I'm skipping things. I think it's ridiculous. Uh, and 11 and 12 and quite frankly 13 um, those I don't get me wrong I will go ahead and use but I'm sure I will use a costume instead of looking at them right now personally love the nine thank goodness that's what I have anyways I digress if you click over here it'll show you what the actual enhancement sets are going to be and if you continue to set your items which we'll get to in a second uh, you'll go ahead and get the extra bonus increases. Um, so that's kind of the enhance tab here for you. These are going to be used for your enhanced stones. Your enhanced stones you will get from Warrior Guard and other items, events, everything throughout the game. Uh, and you can use to level up your actual enhancement. So you can see here, it says tier 13, level 0. Each tier has four levels. So you can see here, 1, 2, 3, 4. Uh, now also, Keep in mind this right here. As you continue to level up, not only does it require from basic to rare uh, to epic pieces to go ahead and <clears throat> excuse me to enhance them, but your success rate drastically drops. So once you get past level or tier 10, to be honest, it's really a grind. Uh, and as I've kind of showed you in the prior episodes, I, I could definitely level them up more as I have several several stored up here for it i mean 2000 2600 give or take 2700 um considering it only takes eight at a time to try but i'm waiting for that resource event that we kind of talked about before but this will also give you perk bonuses it will give you achievements as you level them up together to a certain extent uh but other than that keep that in mind that yes it's great to continue to level them but keep some resources for that event and the next is your socket or your gems you have two types of gems two basic types of gems the weapon or the right sides and accessories are going to use attack gems or the red ones the left side of your armor will use green gems which are going to be health gems uh, with that being said you can craft these three of one kind makes the next there is one below this level two then three then four all the way I think level 10 is the most I've seen and then every once in a while through events and other things you will go ahead and run across the option to get uh, different type of gems so flawless sea prism gem right that is technically blue but it's still a health gem so not only does it increase increase your health as this one does but it also does some damage reduction uh, these will just be a grind you get them through the dragon event every day based on your place you get them randomly through chests uh, you get them from treasure hunts you can get them from boss hunts you get them whole sorts of thing but the biggest thing is make sure you have all your spaces filled you're going to be very desired to go ahead like i did at the beginning incorrectly and craft up to the highest one i could have so i may have only had two or three gems in my entire set because i just wanted the bigger ones and the bigger ones but the truth is three uh let's just say three level twos for example is better than one level three or three level three is better than one level four Meaning if you look at it, let's just say perfect, we have a three, right? Each one of these, of course, is not going to be 600 hit points. So if I do three of these, that's going to be what? 1,800 hit points. If I crafted one of these, it's only half of that, right? So unless you're out of spaces to fill, don't upgrade the gems until you need to. That's why you see I have extras here because even on my lowest piece, uh, they're higher levels. These are fours, fives. Than the ones that I have in my inventory. Uh, the other thing is, as you increase your VIP level, you can go ahead and socket more. I do believe you can only socket three gems per, per piece of equipment until I want to say VIP five or three, and then this one I believe is seven uh, before you can do five per slot, which greatly increases. But not everybody wants to spend that kind of money in a game, and I completely understand that. Uh, just the only peace of mind for this, 
fill all your slots out, then start upgrading your gems. Your append slot here uh, is a little tricky one. So once you get to level seven and you'll use the pen stones that look like shiny little pieces of glass, um, you don't really want, I should say seven, you can get lucky and get to eight or nine, but if you don't use what's called a lucky gem, which are pretty rare, it can reset it all the way back down to seven. So for instance, if I got them out of my storage and tried to go ahead and supplement this, chances are very high that this 11 would go back down to seven and I would never get it back to 11 without using lucky gems, even at the 25% success rate. The odds are just not in your favor and it's practically impossible possible I've gotten to nine I think ten once without using a lucky stone um, but you're just gonna beat your head against the wall and waste your um, your pen stones excuse me so that being said you will over time acquire way many way more of these than you can actually use because otherwise you're just using them to reset and reset and reset and reset so this is a slower grind I've probably used 80 to 90 lucky gems just to get these to where they are now at 10 and 11 uh, again kind of like the enhanced because as they get higher the chance gets lower the lucky gems are more rare to find uh, and it's just really a slow grind but just more of advice once you get to seven if you get them to eight great usually pretty easy nine you're lucky ten you're extremely lucky and don't count your blessings much past that uh, if you continue to try to go without lucky gems. Uh, moving on to the set, which is one of the most important pieces that I missed out on for the early part of this game. With this, I will go into a slight tangent. Under the boss tab, which we will get into later, boss hunts, even from an early, early age, and it's going to take a while to beat them, I understand that, do as many dark ruins as you possibly can. Nobody wants to spend rubies right off. They want to hoard. They think, you know, whatever the case is, at least do one a day. The Dark Ruins boss hunt will get you set stones, which you're going to need and accumulate over time. And I promise you, you will need a lot. When I'm talking a lot for level 11 right now, I need 1200 to set a normal piece, 1440 to even normalize a set piece uh, for my uh, mythic armor. So with that being said, I'm still 200 short to even set my weapon that I've had, and I've been playing for months and months and months. So grind it out early, spend the rubies, start doing it at an early stage, and I promise you, you'll be in much better shape once you get to the long-term end game. Uh, there is two stages, or are two stages, excuse me, of, uh, of setting your equipment. The first one is going to be normal. So you'll see this normal here. So this one's unset and it tells me I need 1440 pieces or set stones to make this one into a normal piece. If I click on my uh, secondary weapon or my offhand, my book, if I say switch to perfect, it will tell you I need an additional 240 plus 480 perfect set stones to make that a perfect one. The biggest thing here, as you can see, are these bonuses. And I don't care what level you have usually use my rule of thumb is use the equipment you have level wise with as much as you can set right so as much as you can make it perfect or normal so with that being said if you are fighting bosses that grant level six or seven equipment but you have the stones to make perfect a set of level five equipment stick with the level five until you have the stones to go to level six don't acquire the equipment so fast because you will level up faster than you will acquire the set stones unless you start very early and that was my piece of advice for you. Uh, so with that being said, do as you will, but a perfect set of five is going to be stronger because of the bonuses than a set of six or seven or possibly even eight if you have a perfect set of five. So don't get ahead of yourself. I know you want to have the next level and the next level. Trust me, I was there with you. Uh, but in hindsight, save your stones, make normal and perfect sets of the lower end equipment, especially accessories, because those are the hardest ones to get, uh, and your character will be much stronger throughout the time. Uh, and polishing here, and this one took me a while to get, so I want to truly explain two, well, several things about it. First, you get three free polishes a day, okay? Use them. 
and use them right. So my rule is you want to start with the right hand side of the equipment. So there are rare purifications, so to speak, or polishes, excuse me, that you can get, meaning these purple ones, opposed to just regular ones. Regular ones are relevant. The whole goal of this is to get as many of these as you can. And once you get them, check this little lock box and it will save that. So next time you polish, it will only change these three until you've acquired as many of these as you can. The right hand weapon accessory side is attack. That's the only rare one. That's what you're looking for. The left hand side is hit points. As you can see, even at my level, I still haven't had the time to go ahead and polish all these to the point where I have them all together, right? Like this one here. The more things you save, the more polished stones you will need to try again. If you go down and I only have one locked, you're looking at three. If you have none locked, it's going to be one. So keep that in mind. Use your free polishes on the most you have locked. Now you can only use, sure you can. You only start with one slot. You can spend 100 rubies per slot to open. And I believe to get the fourth slot, you have to be VIP level seven or eight. Uh, so don't get heartbroken if you don't see all these here. I've spent a decent amount of money on this game. Uh, on the purification side of things, this is the and one to getting them set to where you need. Purification stones you'll have abundance of from doing the hunting grounds over time. So don't worry about accumulating too many of those as it'll just come over time. But the biggest thing here is you will go ahead and say purify, right? So whatever skills you have, doesn't matter if they're white or purple, it will roll random numbers. And then it'll tell you with an arrow up for green, arrow down for red, if it's a better than you have or worse than you have. My rule of thumb is if it shows an arrow up here that's green, meaning overall it increases my damage, I hit save attributes. Uh, for the longest time, I didn't understand this or even see this button, and I kept just purifying, hoping things would get better, and it was just up and down and up and down. The whole point of this is to make sure that overall you increase your attack damages, click save, and you'll see these yellow bars start to fill, and then they become permanent boosts to your character. This in itself, if you do right off the beginning, will drastically change your later game. So with that being said, uh, this is pretty much everything in a nutshell for the forge button, but I just want to recap really quick. Enhance, save your set stones, not a big deal. Just save them for anything after level 8 or 9, save them for resource events. Socket, always fill out your slots first, then start upgrading your gems. Append, only use lucky gems past level 7 or 8, or you're just going to be going in a vicious cycle wasting resources. Only use gear that you can set. Don't get ahead of yourself in level gear until you can. Do the dark ruins, collect your set stones. Uh, and thirdly, make sure you start with the right, get as many as attack, attack excuse me, uh, polish bonuses as you can, click the lockbox, Roll again, use your three free ones a day, and then you can use your perfect, excuse me, move to the purification, but again, save for resource events. Be patient with this game, it will pay dividends. Thank you, and I'll see you in the next episode.